Hey guys, welcome back to Latin Nation, and we're back with director Patricia Riggin. We were just taking a look back at Under the Same Moon, mm -hmm. which uh, we've deemed as the It's a Wonderful Life for Hispanics. And I mean, really, the, the writing and the acting, the dialogue is so strong. And now, if I understand correctly, this movie has had a lot to do with the reason that you are now going to be directing The 33, mm -hmm. which is about the 33 Chilean miners mm -hmm. that were stuck underground. Well, I, I made two more movies after Under the Same Moon. Um, one that uh, came out recently that's called Girl in Progress mm -hmm. with Eva Mendes and Sierra Ramirez, who is amazing. And then I did a, a musical for Disney called Lemonade Mouth. Huge hit. For kids. All my little kids watch that. <laughs> I'm not, not my little kid, I don't have kids, my little cousins. They all watch that. And, all your um, five little kids. Yeah, all my five little I have a bunch of little kids running around <laughs> somewhere in Miami, but uh, that's yeah. cool. I mean, it, it shows, it shows um, that well, not only the, the, the spectrum of, of range that you have when it comes to the kind of movies you can do, but mm -hmm. I, I think where that you got noticed. You know, I, I mm -hmm. started with Under the Same Moon as far as mm -hmm. the industry noticing. I still used Under the Same Moon as the example of what I do. You know, I mm -hmm. think that the producer that hired me now to direct the Chilean Miners movie. Which is Mike Mudavoy? Mike Medavoy. Mike Medavoy. Yeah, he's a, a guy that's been around for a long time. He has seven Oscars. 17 nominations. Produced Black Swan. He's produced every movie, a, t a ton of wonderful movies, and uh, and he saw under the same moon. So that was that's always kind of my calling card. You know, one of the things I'm interested in having you know a director of your of your accomplishments here on set is that I, I'm interested in how you make a movie because it, it it just seems so hard and it seems like there's like these you know people up on you know this level that you just can't get to that you need to impress or or have them kind of deem you mm -hmm. as worthy of making a movie. What uh, who are the people that are making the decisions about what movies get made? And are the Latinos mm -hmm. getting to that level? Yeah, why not? For example, you know, in this case, Mike Medaboy, right? So he's a very, you know, well-known producer. And he puts this, you know, this, the project out. And agents send their directors. And there were a lot of directors reading this, this script and going in to talk to him. So it's about, you know, the person that... I guess nails the story, or or comes in with the you know with the best interpretation of what the story there should be. Are involved the in the movie industry that you've had to navigate? You know, well, as a Latina, as a woman, as you know. There are a lot of politics as a woman. It's a different thing being a woman. Being a woman, I think you know we're still, you know, struggling. So in this case, the fact that the the story you know had minors and it's about 33 men right. was what was making it complicated for a woman to you know to to get them to believe that I could do it. I mean, I had I received some comments like, "How is she gonna deal with the 33 guys?" You know, in a right. testosterone movie, and uh, I, a journalist in Chile asked me, and I said, well, "You should ask your president, mm -hmm. your female president right. Michelle Bachelet, how she dealt right. you know with the country." You know, I think it's all about prep, prep preparing. Mm -hmm. It's all about working really hard, and uh, and going into the meetings with a really amazing presentation of what you would do with the movie and how you see the movie. And if you nail what the, the, what the producer is, is, has dreamt of mm -hmm. to hear, then you can get the job. It doesn't have anything to do and anymore, I think. I want to <laughs> believe that. But with the 33, it's going to be in English, but you're going to hear Spanish accents. How is that going to work? It's an English language movie, and I've been you know, thinking a lot about how to handle the the, the situation originally the script had a, like a mix of Spanish and English. I'm taking it out. I'm gonna keep it straight English. We all need to work on a on an accent that unifies the whole cast. And hopefully, if it's a Chilean accent, that would be awesome. Well, Chilean accents are pretty bland, so maybe you can hit that. And uh, we're gonna be hitting our accent here in Latin Nation all together in unison when we come back from break with more with Patricia Regan mm -hmm. and indie filmmaker Kenneth Castillo joins us right after this. Mm -hmm. 